yo, what's up, what's up, what's up, family? I'm back again with another one for you guys. This is a classic, guys. I got this in. Um, I purchased this on Amazon. I think it's around 13 bucks. It's called Pino Sylvester. Some of you guys familiar with it. Shaped like a pine cone. The presentation alone is cool. Shake just like a pine cone, as you can see. Alright. Now, what this stuff smells like? It's very piney. Um, piney. A little bit of woody. Um, it's got uh, pine germs and essence. That's what it says on the side there. Anyway, I'm going to give you guys the notes off. The internet. Alright, now here are the notes. Let's get started with the main accords. <clears throat> Excuse me. The main accords are aromatic, woody, fresh spicy, green, and citrus. Alright. Now this cologne was launched back in 1955. Come. This is a perfume still seduced with refreshing, clear notes and authentic baller design. Alright, and it's saying off the top, the heart, this and that. Okay, it's saying, bought a handful of freshness and sweetness of bergamot, lavender, basil, shiny lemon, and juniper berries in the top notes. The heart. Carries an explosion of spicy notes of carnation, nutmeg, geranium, thyma, and fir, fir tree. The base contains a cause of amber, cedar, musk, taco beans, and moss. Alright. And this is saying some people say it smells like aquavalva and bun number nine, whatever. And uh, some more. You know, they're missing the point. What it really smell like to me, you know. Some people, you know, everybody got a take of what something smells similar to. Um, to me, uh, it smells similar to. Uh, kind of smells like. I'm gonna show you guys the sprayer first. Oh, here we go. Pretty decent sprayer. On the thing, it hits on the side right there. You can see juice wasted on the side. That's the downside to it to me. That they should have opened this up a little bit, cut it open so you won't really mess up no juice. That's my take on it. Uh, first initial blast, what it smells like to me, you get a big burst of pine. Get the pine. Um, it's like a pine where you, like a pine, I would say, like fresh pine that you pull from a tree type pine. It's that kind of pine, I would say. A fresh pine that you pull right from a pine tree and you get the pine vibes. Similar sense, similar sense now. Did, to me, this spell, if you guys are familiar with Fahrenheit, Christian's door, Fahrenheit. That's a similar sense that it smells similar to. I first blast this like this. I get this. The similar, that's the sense that it reminds me a lot of, guys. It smells like Fahrenheit. Door Fahrenheit by Christian Door. The original Fahrenheit. It's got kind of like a gassy smell a little bit. Mixed in with a little piney. It's not very piney, you know. Kind of dirty, gassy, mixed with a little pine, not a lot of pine. It's shaped like a pine cone, as you can see. But it's not a lot of pine here, you know, really, to be honest. That's what it smells like. It smells like Fahrenheit, Christian Door Fahrenheit, guys. I don't know if anybody else on YouTube told you guys that. Everybody saying this, that, and the third about this cologne. And no one's really saying what it smells like. Or what it smells similar to. It smells like Christian's door. Fahrenheit. 
this be a this could almost be a cheaper alternative to Fahrenheit. So if you guys are a big fan of Fahrenheit but don't want to pay sixty, seventy, eighty dollars for it or whatever the case is, this is similar scent to it. Now I ain't saying they smell one hundred percent just alike. Don't get me wrong, but they similar. Very close. I don't know why <laughs> they smell so close alike, but they do. They smell very, very close. That's what it smells like. You get a nice little pine. You get the woods. You get kind of like a gassy vibe. Kind of dirty, like oily, like smell. It definitely don't smell like a exact like a pine. You know, smell really, really good. That longevity out of this. You'll get about a good six to eight hours plus. Uh, it's almost a powerhouse, in my opinion. Projection. It projects really well for the first two to two and a half hours. It projects really well. I guess it's kind of like the wooziness, and it's kind of like a sharp pine. It's not a real up-in-your-face type, but it's sharp enough to give you that good projection, I would say out of this. Now like I said it's a retail you about $13, $14 on Amazon's where I got it. If you guys want to give it a try it's Pinot Sylvester. And I like to give you guys uh similar colognes that it smells similar to, you know. So that's why I say it smells similar to Christian Doors Fahrenheit, you know. If you guys like Fahrenheit, you'll like this one. Might not be quite quite as heavy. Um because it has more pine in this than Fahrenheit does, obviously. But they smell similar alike. That's what my nose pick up. When I first initial blasted, I was like, that this stuff reminds me a lot of Fahrenheit. And that came to mind, Christian Door Fahrenheit. So I just want to share this one with you guys, some classic. And I've got to move on to the next. I gave y'all the notes. And then it's up to y'all to pick it up. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And, yeah, y'all give it a try, man. It smells similar to Christian Doyle's Fahrenheit. Till next time. So, cheaper Fahrenheit. I'll hit y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace.